real and nominal interest rates. What is the difference between the nominal rate of interest and the real rate of interest? And why is it that it is the real rate of interest that matters for borrowing and lending decisions? Real rate of interest is the interest rate adjusted for the erosion of purchasing power due to inflation. We can approximate the calculation of the real rate of interest by taking the nominal rate of interest, that is the rate you see advertised in the windows of banks and in their newspaper and online advertisements, and subtracting the rate of inflation during the period of the loan from the nominal rate of interest, and that is going to give us the real rate of interest. Let us illustrate why it is the real rate of interest that's important by using a simple example. Say you're walking past a bank one day and they have a big poster in, in the window advertising loans at a 10% rate of interest. Well, you're not in a particular hurry. And so you walk in and you say to the credit officer, I'd like to have one of those loan things that you're offering at a 10% rate of interest. He says, well, how much do you want? And you answer, let me have $10 million. So you stuff the $10 million into your pocket and that is now your debt to the bank. And you walk out and continue your stroll down the road. A couple blocks later, you happen to come upon a house being advertised for sale. Well, since you have some money in your pocket, you knock on the door and you ask, well, how much is this house? And the person says $10 million. Well, what a coincidence. You have $10 million in your pocket. You hand it to the guy. You kick him out and you have your $10 million house. So you move in, you have some friends over, you watch TV, you do some gardening, and you have a jolly good time for a year. And at the end of a year, you realize you're tired of this house and you decide you want to sell it. So you stick up at the for sale sign and no sooner do you do so that somebody knocks on the door. Now, over the course of the year, there has been inflation in this economy. There has been a general rise in prices of goods and services and assets just due to inflation. Let us say the rate of inflation over the course of the last year has been 10%. That means the $10 million house that you bought a year before can now be sold for $11 million just because of inflation. So you ask $10 million, somebody knocks on your door and gives you $11 million, you walk out of the house and you walk back up to the bank and you say to the the bank officer, you know, I owe you guys some money. Uh, how much is it to pay off the debt? And the bank officer says, well, the principal is $10 million and the rate of interest is 10%, which is an additional $1 million. So you owe us $11 million. Well, that is the amount you have to have from the sale of your house. You pay off the loan and you're back where you started. you realize that you've gotten the use of $10 million, that is to say, a $10 million house for one year without having to dip into your own savings. You have had the use of $10 million for free. It hasn't cost you any of your own resources, any of your own funds in order to occupy a $10 million house for one year. And the reason for that is that the nominal rate of interest, 10%, is the same as the rate of inflation, 10%.
So the real cost to you of having use of $10 million for a year has been zero. Let us illustrate the point again by making the nominal rate of interest in the same story 15% instead of 10%. Had that been the case, then when you went to pay off the loan, the loan officer would have said, you owe us $11.5 million. In that case, your $11 million would have paid over, would have paid off $11 million of the loan and interest, and you'd have still had half a million dollars that you would ha have had to have found. In other words, if the nominal rate of interest were 15%, and the rate of inflation were 10%, then you would have had to find half a million dollars out of your own resources as the cost to you, as the real cost to you of having had a loan of $10 million for one year. That real cost to you of half a million dollars, well, half a million is 5% of 10 million. So the real cost to you, the real rate of interest of this loan would have been 5%. The difference between the 15% nominal rate of interest and the 10% rate of inflation. So it is the real rate of interest that matters for lending and borrowing decisions.